right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, as we have been reporting, uh, they have now identified the three terrorist suspects in the a terrorist attack on the satirical magazine in France earlier today. Uh, reportedly, two of them are brothers, and uh, and uh, and one of them uh, obviously not related. Uh, first report uh, came from. Uh, uh, sources were related in uh, contacting with our, our next guest, Major General Paul Lee Vallely, who um, had it in my hands uh, before uh, it uh, was reported on CNN that the uh, Paris deputy mayor had said that the suspects had been identified. Uh, General, uh, good to see you, sir. Once again, Happy New Year. And uh, what do we know? What could you tell us about the, uh, the suspects that uh, they have in custody, if they do have well, them in custody? The three suspects, uh, Steve, uh, have been reported. We've got some of it out of Metro News out of Paris, but uh, I'm not sure we have the official report from the Minister uh, of Interior yet. But uh, three, uh, yes, a uh, Saeed K, who was born in uh, 1980 uh, in Paris, a uh, Charles K, born in 1982 in Paris, and a Walid M, all born in 1996. And all three of them were from a suburb called uh, Genevilliers. Uh, if I'm saying that right, my French probably is not that good. But they reportedly have been arrested uh, by uh, the police over there, so we're awaiting further news. But at least that was a very quick apprehension as they tracked that vehicle uh, in northern Paris to uh, where the three uh, evidently had escaped to. Yeah, no, a absolutely. And we're talking about, you know, we're talking about what, a 30 year old, uh, uh, you know, 30, wait, 90, 2000, yeah, actually a 30 year old and a 32 year old, or whatever, and someone born in 1996, an 18 yeah, year old. Brothers. Yeah, what, 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 what do we know about the suburb? You mentioned the suburb with your French, which was much better than mine. Uh, do we know anything about that suburb? Well, we do. We know a lot of the, uh, uh, what we might call uh, these uh, radical Islamic. Uh, individuals live in the ghettos, uh, what we may call outside of Paris in the suburbs. And then when I was over there a couple of years ago, uh, when we took the uh, subway into Paris, uh, you could see uh, how the suburbs uh, had been ghettoized, uh, for lack of a better word. And many of the, uh, uh, the Muslims who had moved in there and uh, then became radicalized or radicalized even before were working out of the area, and some of them were no-go zones, by the way, uh, from the Paris police. They they categorized them, no-go zone, don't go there. And then they extended Sharia law in some of those areas. So now all of this is coming forth, uh, Steve, as many of us uh, predicted. Yeah, no, unfortunately, true. Uh, that is very, very true. Um, what do you think, what's your gut tell you that we're going to find now that we know two were brothers, we know the, L, the ages, one of them, as I said, just barely 18 probably. Uh, what, what are we going to find out, that they traveled abroad and came back, or at least two of them did, or one of them did, uh, or were self-radicalized? What do you think uh, we're going to find out? Well, obviously, we're going to find out. They were trained. They were trained with weapons, how to attack, to, how to isolate themselves, uh, escape and evasion, and so on. So it didn't work. But uh, this is what's happening with uh, ISIS as they extend and use the Internet for communications. They, uh, be a they're able to put out the propaganda to their followers uh, using social media. So they're very, very uh, effective at doing this. And that is why now I'm not calling this a war on terror. This is a war on radical Muslims and radical Islam. And this is what we've got to face now is the global caliphate has cast uh, a war against the West and democracies. We've got to get real about this right now, and hopefully the French will get on top of this as the Dutch will. And, of course, the same thing has been happening in England for quite a while. Yeah. All right. Um, Major General Paul Lee Vallely, retired major, of course, U.S. Army and founder of Stand Up America. Thank you, sir, very much for making time for us and bringing us the news. Appreciate it. Okay, Steve. Thanks. Take care. All right, folks. When we come back, terror expert Steve Emerson will be here to give us his take on what took place earlier today as our continuing coverage continues. Don't go away.